how much change are you going to get back at the supermarket? If you don't know the answer to this question, well, you're not alone. New research shows a quarter of adults around the world struggle with everyday basic financial calculations. Out of the 31 countries polled, adults in Japan, Singapore, South Korea, Lithuania and Estonia fared the best. But among the worst global performers were the UK and Turkey. Efforts are being made in Turkey to reverse this trend. Turkey's so-called queen of financial literacy and founder of the country's first financial NGO, Fodel, Oslem Denizmen, has now put financial literacy on the school curriculum. She also hosts events like Global Money Week, held at the Istanbul Stock Exchange. Because in life, we do, you know, we have some income that comes, and then many of us don't know where it went at the end of the month. But if it's separated and budgeted as needs and wants, so we can say, okay, some 50, 60% goes to the needs, some about 30% uh, goes to the wants, and some 10, 20% has to be saved. And if this mentality comes from childhood onwards, it's like brushing teeth. For many people, managing your money well and avoiding credit card debt can be extremely challenging. But it's at events like this that young people can learn about personal finance. And this can make a huge difference, not only to their pockets, but to the overall economy as well. Three million people cannot pay back their credit card loans in Turkey. That's according to investment banker Attila Köksal. This is lower than the global average, but he says inflation rates, which have averaged around 45% over the past 50 years, have impacted financial literacy and saving decisions in the country. We don't save anymore, and we don't know how to invest. So we invest into short-term instruments like bank deposits. 75% you know, of our savings are in bank deposits, 50% of which is in uh, Turkish lira, 25% is in uh, foreign currencies. As part of Global Money Week, Turkish teenagers took in-depth financial training outside their classrooms, which seems to be paying off. I learned that even though we save uh, a little amount of money, uh, if we start early, we can, uh, I mean, it can add up to a great amount of money in the future and it can really help us during the retirement. Özlem Denizmen says that financial literacy will empower young people and that means a stronger economy. Maria Ramos, TRT World.